Today I'm going to be testing this Danfoss 2800 drive that we got back from repair. And the first thing I have to do is fix this plate that's missing two wires. These two wires aren't really important. I could just jump her on the other side just like I have a jumper right here. But I'm going to do it the right way. Add two wires and come out here. which one of these wires goes up here so I'm going to have to get a multimeter to test that. On this one, the numbers are just going to go straight across. So I've got uh, number 46 here. Let's find out which one of these is 46. Safety relay, we got one, two, three, we're only using one and two. We're all connected, now we just gotta double check everything. We'll go back to one.
two drives here. I want to make sure which one is right. I already know this one is A and this one is B. But you could literally put these drives anywhere in the cabinet, so you always want to make sure. The way I'm going to make sure is I'm going to come over here and drive the arm. So I'm just going to do a roll arm setup. And we'll change this to... We'll do a half roll in the center. So now it's moving. And we can see that this one is reading 100. So it's at 100% 100, uh, 100 drive right now. So we know this is the B-arm. So this is what it looks like with the original drive. So the first thing we're gonna do is shut off power to the cabinet. And we got no lights down here. And we got a couple underneath. Motor and the lock. Loosen that up. And now I can just take the whole thing right off. We know that one's good. And I'm going to put this one. You want to try to put this on evenly so you're not breaking any of the pins. Solid connection. Make sure the press is all the way in. This one right here is a motor ground. It's not really as important. Uh, on some of these, they just left it off, but I always try and throw it on so there's some kind of ground. The mains. This one prong goes into the brake port, but it doesn't matter because there's no wire there. And the motor. Okay. All right. And the way I got to reset it to factory defaults. And the way to do that with this drive is I hold quick menu up and change data all at the same time while I power it on. So I have to hold those three buttons and then power it on. So now it's at factory defaults. And these are the parameters I gotta set. So 102 needs to go to 0.50. So go to change. And increase this. Alright, then hit change data. Now we're gonna go to 103. It needs to go to 220. So that's the motor voltage. needs to go to 50. 105 is 2.64. All right, that one's already set. And that is the motor current. Next is motor rated speed, 106. And that is 1400. All right, that's good. 107, automatic motor tuning. We want that off. Okay, that's off. So that's all the quick menu stuff that we can do. Now we have to get to the, uh, the extra parameters. So we need to get to 200. To do that, we go Quick menu and plus. All right, so now we're gonna look for 200. All right, 200 should be one. So that's gonna make it so that this can travel in forward and reverse. 204 should be zero. All right, and that's at zero, that's the minimum reference. 205 should be 100. 207 should be 0.50. That's the ramp up time. So in other words, that's how long it takes for the motor to get up to full speed. And then 208 should be 0.10. 
that's the ramp down time. Now I'm going to hit quick menu and we're ready to go. So no movement, and it is not even trying. So there's something wrong with a controller or something on here to where it's not receiving the input signal. Getting no movement at all. I can hear it click, but no movement. All right, so I'm gonna put the other one back on. So you can see the original plate that I was using, which is why I had to attach some wires onto this one because this is just a backup adapter plate. So I tried this one, I tried this one, I tried it on two different reel stands so that I always get the same result. Now I do believe that this will drive a motor because they did send a video showing that it was driving a motor, but maybe it just has to do with the motor under load or maybe it's actually a problem where uh, like a controller on here like I was saying before. But all I know is that this is not working in our reel stand, so this one has to get tagged bad.